z parameter is equal to y parameter inverse y parameter is equal to z parameter inverse similarly g parameter is h parameter inverse and h parameter is g parameter inverse four basic results in order to convert t to t dash or t dash to t by using equations and by simultaneous equation solution simultaneously solving the equation i'll give you a hint v1 and i1 this is one this is two v1 v2 and i2 basically we want to eliminate if we want to find out v2 so we have to eliminate i2 and when we want to find out i2 we will have to eliminate v2 for that what we do is we multiply equation 1 by d and equation 2 by b and then subtract what you get is dv1 minus bi1 and here you have ad minus bc into v2 and this becomes a zero because b into d multiplied by minus of i2 b into d multiplied by minus i2 and it becomes plus so it is zero therefore we can write v2 as d over ad minus bc into v1 plus b by ad minus bc into this minus sign is brought along with minus of i1 this has been done so that these two equations can be compared this is a dash and this part is b dash similarly you can find out c dash and d dash by multiplying equation 1 with c equation 2 with a and subtracting and finding out the result this is the meaning of simultaneously solving the equations we can obtain these results so six of the conversions can be done very easily these are the four conversions now i'll tell you what is the formula for it let us suppose you want the z parameter from y parameter so that is equal to y parameter inverse which is equal to 1 over y11 y22 minus y12 y21 and these two values are to be interchanged y11 was here it has been brought here y22 was here it has been brought here and these two values just put a negative sign This is the basic result of inverse of a matrix. All of you are aware of it. So, using the same method, you can find out these. So, interconversion of six interconversions have been done so far. Now, let's do the rest of the interconversions. Twenty-four interconversions in the next time. Continuing with the interconversion, now you have z, y, t, t dash. H and G to be converted into again. Let us write down Z, Y, T, T dash H and G. We have done interconversion of Z with Y. Now we will do interconversion of Z to T, T dash H, G. Similarly, G to Z, Y, T. T dash H and so on for each of them. We have done G two H. This this we have already done. We have done Z two Y. We have already done. Rest interconversions are to be done by the method which we are illustrating right now. Let's take any example. For example, we want to find out H parameter and Z parameter is given. 
सो इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ जेड पैरामीटर टू एच पैरामीटर वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट राइट डाउन एज इक्वेशन वन एंड टू सो एच वन वन आई वन प्लस एच वन टू वी टू दिस इज एच टू वन आई वन प्लस एच टू टू वी टू दिस इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज गिवन इज दैट पैरामीटर राइट डाउन एज इक्वेशन थ्री एंड फोर Let me write the equation three and the equation four. Now, by comparison method, we are going to find out the parameters. See how one, two, and here three, four. Compare the variables v one, i one, v two, i two in these equations. For example, we take one and three. V one, v one, i one, i one. But here we have v2 and here we have y2. Let's put a cross here. Now compare one with four. One with four. V1 not present. Cross. Now we compare two with three. This equation two and this equation three. I2, I2. Okay. I1, I1. Common. V2, V1. Not common. Again a cross. Hopefully this is take. I2, I2. I1, I1, V2, V2. So here we have it. Now we want I2 in terms of I1 and V2. Make I2 the subject of the formula in equation four, as we have done in class eight or nine. So rewriting this equation, Z22 I2 is equal to V2 minus Z21 I1. So I2 becomes One over z two two v two plus of minus z two one over z two two into i. Compare this equation with equation two. You will find i two has been expressed in terms of i one and v two. You can rewrite it because there should not be any confusion. And with practice. You should be in a position to write down to the same sequence as is required in equation two. So directly you can write down h two one as being equal to minus z two one over z two two. And unit of h two one is nothing; it is dimensionless. And h two two having unit more is one over z two. So two of the parameters we have found out. Similarly, once you have found out the two parameters, then look at the other diagram, one and three. Now we will be writing three as in one, but here we have a problem. What is the problem? V one, V one is common. I one, I one is common, but here we need to have V two, but there is a term I two present. So replace that I two. By this value and put it here in equation three. So we can rewrite v one is equal to bring the terms of i one together. It is already there. Again, by comparison, we can find out. V one, so one and three we are going to compare. So V one is in terms of H one one I one plus H one two V two. So this whole term is H one one. Means delta Z over Z two two. Where delta Z is determinant of Z parameter that is Z one one Z two two minus Z one two Z two. And similarly. H one two is equal to Z one two over Z two. So we have obtained all these four values. H we can write it down 
in this form delta z over z22 h12 z12 over z2 h21 as minus z21 over z22 and the fourth one 1 over z22 h parameter in terms of z in this way you can find out any of these parameters in terms of the other basic step remains same whatever you want to find out write it as 1 and 2 whichever equations are given z parameter here write down as 3 and 4 make a small table and in this table Compare the quantities of these equations, variables, v1, i1, v2, i2. Wherever it's common, first find out those two parameters. Thereafter, replace this equation in the other one and find out the other two parameters. This is how you can do a equation of uh, interconversion. And generally in examinations, a couple of interconversions are already asked.